you'll need for your armature is 11.5 gauge wire, some clippers which you use to cut the wire, and also some pliers which you use for bending or twisting the wire. The blue handled pliers also have clippers at the base. Step one, fold the wire in half, so line up the two cut ends, give it a tug so you find the middle. Step two, twist near the bend in the middle so that it becomes the head of your armature. The head should be about the size of a half dollar and you want to twist the neck two to four times total, no more. Once you're satisfied with the neck, take one of the ends and that will become the arm. You want to measure about two thumb lengths long. And then once you're satisfied with the length, just bend it in and that's the end of your arm. Bend it back in towards the center, right under the neck. And then you're going to twist to finish off the first arm. You can use pliers to do this or work by hand to twist. I like to start usually by hand and then finish off with the pliers. The other piece of wire that you didn't use to make your first arm is going to be used to make your second arm. So you can use your first arm to find the right length. And so just bend it across the body to line it up. Bend it in towards the center and twist again to finish off the second arm. Now you'll have those two ends of wire back in the center which are going to be twisted together to become the torso. So give them a couple of twists. You do want to make sure the torso is long enough, so it's probably 10 twists for the torso, give or take. And once you're satisfied, then you're going to use those ends to make the legs. Now, the legs, um, or you're gonna just bend up the end of the wire to make the feet. Use your arms as a guideline. The hands should hit about mid-thigh, so make sure your legs are long enough. Twist together. Again, you can use the pliers if that's easier. You might have a little piece sticking off that you can just bend in with the pliers or actually cut off with the clippers if it's not. Um, easy to wrap it up against the, the leg. So just twist to complete the second leg and then your armature is finished. This armature is just the skeleton of your wire sculpture, um, so it is going to be thin. You will build up the mass, which also means the thickness, of your wire sculpture with um, some colored wire. So this is just the skeleton of your wire sculpture. So it is supposed to be really thin. That's all you have to do to make your armature.